my name is Andy Van Stratton and I'm a Creature TD at Ziva Dynamics. In this video I really want to address the question of why Ziva, so why use Ziva VFX at all? You know, everybody wants their characters to look super compelling and a big part of that is being able to represent the properties of soft tissue. In the past there really hasn't been a good way of doing that. You know, you have to spend all this time painting skin clusters and sculpting corrective shapes and hooking it all up and then oftentimes you'll need to shot sculpt on top of that. Ziva VFX is really about addressing that core problem of getting characters to move in a compelling way. What we're really doing is removing all the hackery and all the shot sculpting and instead employing robust, proven methodologies such as the finite element method, FEM, and then using that to replicate the behaviour of soft tissues. So you model the muscle however you want it, turn it into a Ziva tissue, make attachments where you think it should go, and that's it. When you move the skeleton around, the muscle kind of just does the right thing, and then you just sort of add more muscles and build up the system as you go. And there's also a purpose-built cloth solver to do things like fascia sliding and skin wrinkling, and it all just kind of falls out of the solve. Ziva's not just limited to characters with musculature. You know, it could be a super blobby character like Slimer in Ghostbusters, or a more cartoony character like something you might see in a Pixar movie. We're seeing some amazing stuff coming out of smaller shops and they're using Ziva to create an array of different simulations. We're really proud of the work that our users are making and we're looking forward to seeing what comes next. <laughs>